how to build a relationship with your local coin shop. A lot of people may not have a local coin shop around them, but if you do, you're one of the lucky ones. Now you gotta find a good coin shop and build a relationship with that person or with your local coin shop. Now you might be wondering, why do I need or want to build a relationship with my coin shop? I just wanna go and get my silver, get my gold and head out. Well, the answer to that question is, if you have a relationship with your local coin shop, you're more likely to get better deals. They might look out for you. I know there's tons of times where I receive good deals on my gold, on my silver with my local coin shop. So today I'm gonna to give you five tips on building a relationship with your coin shop. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle where our goal is to help you guys create a better life. And you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit the notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. Let's go. Make sure you guys check out ublifes.com if you guys want to get awesome t-shirts just like this. And also, if you want to help support the channel by buying silver, you guys can do so as well at ublife.com. Question of the day. Do you guys have a relationship with your local coin shop? If not, comment down below. Let me know. But the first thing I want to let everybody know, these tips right here is not just to build a relationship with your local coin shop. This tip is to build a relationship with everyone. This is something called people skills. People skills one-on-one. -on -one. And this is a skill that I've learned 10 years ago, probably eight years ago, that I learned to get out highway tickets, to get out speeding tickets, to get out of mm, a lot of jabs that I've been in. It's just building a bridge to that person, building a bridge to a, a connection with somebody else. And it may sound bad, but to get exactly what I want from that person. It sounds real bad, it sounds real bad, but hey, this is people skills we're talking about. We're talking about this is stuff that I use to get promotions. This is people skills 101. The Art of Dealing with People is a book that I read. Matter of fact, there's another great book, How to Win Friends and Influence People is, I guarantee you, you read that book, you'll think that I'm just reciting everything from the book. But I'm not. Well, technically I am. But these are stuff that actually helped me out. This is how I build the relationship with my local coin shop. But let's get into it. Enough of my rambling. Number one, people care about one thing. That's it. People care about one thing. And can you guess what people care about? Themselves. Exactly. Themselves. That's true. When you're talking to somebody, you have to understand one thing. That one thing that that person is thinking about right now is, hey, I got my bills due. Hey. I got this, this person's in a hospital, this person's in this, this person's in that. They're being bombarded with so much thoughts going on in their personal life that they really don't care. I mean, they put on a straight face so they can seem normal, yeah. But they have so much stuff going on. A lot of people have so much stuff going on that all they really can think about is themselves. So how do we take advantage of that? You let them know that, hey, you let them know that, hey, you care about them, you're sincere about them. You take vital information like their name. You know their name and you get it on the first try. You actually study their name. So next time when you do see him, hey John, how you doing? I came in last week, I wanted to buy the silver coin from you. He may not know who you are, but if you come in like, hey bro, I had such a good experience with you. You treat me like a professional. With all the coin shops I went to, no one had the knowledge that you have, man. Awesome. Right there, what you did is you boost up his ego. You boost up his ego. The number one thing that he cares about himself, you boost his ego up. So always remember that, number one, People just genuinely care about themselves. Sounds selfish? Yeah, it does, but it's true. Tip number two, you don't have to be right, even when you are. What does that mean? You don't have to be right. When I went to my local coin shop, the guy named is Eli as well, and I went up to him, he said something about, oh, um, I forgot what he said, to be honest with you, but let's just give an example. He said 90% silver, and that's the only name that somebody would know it by. Of course, me, myself, I would know it as constitutional silver as well, junk silver, but I don't have to tell him that. What, what benefit do I get from telling him that? In my head, it's just me helping him out. Like, hey, no, nah, no, nah, bro, there's, there's, my, there's, there's better ways. But in his head, here's how he sees it. Yo, idiot, you're dumb. It's not just 90% silver, we got junk silver as well. We got constitutional silver. Stop being an idiot and learn your stuff. You're supposed to be a professional. Now, I'm not saying you don't want to correct somebody. If they saying the best way to go is left and you know that left has a death trap on there and if they go left that they're going to die, then by all means, help them out. But in situations like Constitution, it's over, 90% is over. Who cares? 
If he believe that the only name that they have is Peon Silver, guess what? Me knowing what I know, I'm gonna be like, hey, let me get some of those Peon Silver. It doesn't matter. What do I have to gain from correcting him? In, in this point of view, for me to build a relationship with him, I have to make it seem like if he honestly don't know, I'm not trying. I'm not gonna try to knock down his ego by saying, hey, you know what? My knowledge is better than yours, and let me teach you. Cause yeah, I'm the man, and I'm gonna destroy your ego to push mine up. Yeah, no doesn't have to be that way so in situations like this of course yeah if they ask you your opinion then you let them know your opinion but if not and they're just talking and you understand what they're saying anyways it doesn't really matter tip number three listen listen and don't listen and try to interrupt oh yeah man I got a good story all right I'm trying to wait for him to pause so I can just jump in so I can tell my story so I can one-up him no just genuinely listen if he's talking, if he has the floor, I'm there. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just like, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. You don't say. Oh, man. That's awesome right there, man. If I'm going to interrupt, it's just to validate his story. Oh, man. That happened to you on a highway? Yeah, you're, you're so right, man. You're so right. Because I remember when I was on a highway, the same thing happened. I didn't know what it was, but, man, that's that. I didn't even think about it that way. That makes sense. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not, I'm not interrupting him. I'm just listening to what he has to say. And I'm just absorbing information. I'm listening to him intently so I can learn from him. The less you talk, the more you can learn. When someone is talking, they're giving you all the ammo you need. If you just listen. Tip number four, gain trust. Gaining trust. Listen, I can go to my coin shop right now. And buddy just walk to the back and leave me a whole case of silver and he has nothing to worry about because i gained his trust i even released a video on one of these unboxing i did and i told you guys hey they gave me this coin right here and i turned around and i went back to him and i was like hey you know what this coin i gave it to me i only wanted five but you gave me six i just want to return it i was out the door already i was gone I turned around and said, hey, I only wanted five, you guys gave me six. What did that do? I, I, it's not like, I'm not telling you guys, hey, you know what? Let me see if I can get a six coin. Let me see if I get an extra coin so I, so I can walk out and come back in and be like, hey, you know what? I left this coin, you gave me this coin extra. No, you, no, it was genuinely a mistake when it happened. But I just want them to feel at ease. I want them to know, hey, even though you have valuable stuff, you can trust me around it because I'm not that type of person. But that right there has to be from here. That has to be your morale. That has to be you. All right. That just has to be in you. But once you gain their trust, but once you gain their trust, they'll be more open to give you better deals. And that's exactly what you want. When you build a relationship with your local coin shop, you get better deals and even not just buying. It could just be, hey, when you're about to sell. You go over there, hey, I have an emergency. Hey, listen, man, hey, you've been with us for a while. Hey, listen, we normally do this, all right? We normally just give you a dollar under spot. But listen, I'm gonna give you exactly spot, maybe a dollar two above spot. Maybe the chances of that happening are zero, but chances are way better with somebody who never built a relationship. Last but not least, tip number five. You want to be sincere. You want to be honest. You want to be sincere with them. All right. You want to be sincere. Everything that comes out your mouth, you want it to feel it as it's true. All right. You don't want to just go over there and be like, hey, Eli. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, 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 hey. Um, yeah, man. Hey, listen. You're the best, man. You're awesome. You're the best coin shop dealer in the world. Oh, my gosh. People can sense fake. They can smell when you're lying. They can... People know when you're being fake. You want to be honestly sincere. I go to the local coin shop and I'm like, hey, Eli, how's everything going? Hey, man, how's your son, John? I know he had that surgery last week. Not saying that he did have a surgery, but I'm just saying. I heard he had that surgery last week. Did he come out okay? Hey, that's awesome. That's good to hear, man. How's your wife, Patricia? Mm, nice, nice, nice. She's still working at Geico? Hey, you're giving them all that information. It shows that you genuinely, sincerely care if he helped you out with something hey, hey eli i appreciate the lookout you gave me last time man you gave me three american silver eagle at one dollar above spot man hey i really appreciate that hey listen if there's anything you ever need from me 
I want you to know I'm here for you, bro. Anything, I got you. Being sincere, and guys, like I said already, these tips are not just for your local coin shop. These tips are for everyone. The video's over, but the conversation doesn't have to be. Comment down below. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and have a wonderful day. That's why.